Welcome to the MCH Navigator. This brief tutorial will help you get started using the website, but first, a little information about the MCH Navigator. With MCH Navigator, the initials MCH represent maternal and child health, an interdisciplinary field devoted to improving the health and well-being of women, infants, children, youth, and families, including those with disabilities or special health care needs. People who work in maternal and child health come from a variety of professional backgrounds and work from many different types of organizations. However, there are some common skills, competencies, and knowledge areas that are required for an effective MCH workforce. The main thing you need to know about the MCH Navigator is that it's a clearinghouse for free and low-cost online training in topics relevant to maternal and child health. There are so many training opportunities out there, both web-based and on-site, that it can be difficult to choose among them, or sometimes even find them on the web. The MCH Navigator helps direct you to the kind of training you're looking for. We've culled through thousands of resources so you don't have to. The training opportunities you'll find on the Navigator include archived webcasts and webinars, instruction modules, self-guided short courses, and video and audio recordings of lectures and presentations from university courses and conferences. You can access all of the training opportunities by clicking on the link for learning resources in the menu across the top of the home page. The resources are grouped into categories and each category has its own set of subcategories. You can access a topic area by clicking directly on a section from the drop-down menu at the top of the page or you can click on the main category Either way brings you to a page about what the topic includes and why it's important. This page lists all of the subcategories with a description of the types of information and skills they cover. So if you're interested in program evaluation, you can get it from here or here. You can see here that for each resource a level is specified, basic, intermediate, or advanced. We've also included the length, how long it will take you to watch, listen, or complete a module. We tell you what type of resource it is, such as a webinar, audio recording, or module, when it was created, and by whom. One of the features of the Navigator that I think you'll find most helpful is the description of resources. Before any resource is posted on the Navigator, it is screened by members of the MCH Navigator team, as well as volunteers from state and local health agencies other MCH professionals, or family advocates. The screening process helps us select the highest quality, most up-to-date resources and results in a detailed description of what you'll learn, how it's structured, whether you need to register for the resource, and whether any continuing education credits are available. Which brings me to an important point. The MCH Navigator exists to help you navigate the wide field of training resources to find the ones that best meet your needs. These resources come from external sources, universities, public health training centers, professional associations, and more. Some, though clearly not all, of these external sources require you to register on their sites before you can access their materials. As an example, if I click on this course on community-based participatory research, the site for the Michigan Public Health Training Center opens in a new window. Here I can find more information about the course, and register to download the materials. The MCH Navigator can't jump through all those hoops for you, but we've done our best to let you know what to expect when you access a training resource. Back on the MCH Navigator site, notice that if you go to the top of the page, you can see exactly where you are on the website. You can use these links to take you back to the broader category, the same way you would a drop-down menu at the top. The training opportunities listed under learning resources are free or low cost, web-based, and short-term. If you are looking for on-site or long-term training programs, take a look at the additional training resources section. We have links to MCH institutes, certificate programs, and conferences that include skills building training sessions. Of course, the MCH Navigator isn't the only place to find online short-term training opportunities. If you don't find what you need through the MCH Navigator, or you just want to explore the larger landscape, click on Other Training Websites for links to sources of information and training in public health generally and maternal and child health more specifically. This section of the website also has links to the MCH Timeline, 
which traces the history of maternal and child health in the United States and provides in-depth modules on topics related to maternal and child health and systems of care. From the additional training resources section, you can also link to the websites for the Federal Maternal and Child Health Bureau and the MCH Bureau's training program, where you can learn about programs funded by the Health Resources and Services Administration of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Learning is an ongoing process that doesn't stop once you've reached a particular age or stage in your career. We hope you'll visit the MCH Navigator often throughout your career and as your professional development needs change. Knowledge isn't static either. As the field of maternal and child health evolves and new resources are developed to build the skills of the MCH workforce, the MCH Navigator will grow and change as well. We'll add new resources to the website and develop new tools to help emerging and established maternal and child health leaders assess their training needs and identify the best learning resources. If you'd like to receive notices about changes and additions to the MCH Navigator website, subscribe to our notices here. We won't share your information, and we won't send out notices more than once a month. We'd love to hear from you if you have comments or feedback as well. You may have noticed a Leave the Comment link at the top of the Learning Resources page. You can click on that link or on the Feedback link in the menu. Now you have all the information you need to use this website, but you may still have questions about the MCH Navigator. You can learn more about the project in its larger context by viewing the narrated PowerPoint presentation about the MCH Navigator or by downloading the four-page PDF overview document. There's a lot here to explore and much more to come. Visit the MCH Navigator to discover the learning path that's right for you and enjoy the journey!